Welcome back to Epic Yarn Gems. Today we're going to be doing the double crochet crisscross. I have started us off with a double crochet swatch and I'm going to use the purple yarn to do the X or the crisscross. So there are V's on top and we're going to go two over from the end and do a double crochet. So reminder, you yarn over, go under the V's, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two again. For the second double crochet, we're going to push our work forward, but we're still gonna come in through the front underneath that V and finish up the double crochet. So we're going to grab the yarn, the right strand actually here, and we are going to yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two, and yarn over, pull through the last two. So we're going to do another. We're going to go over to the second skip one chain and do our double crochet. And then we're going to push our work forward and we're going to come in through the front. But as you can see here, I didn't loop over my yarn very well. So make sure that you loop it over your hook before you pull your work forward and then go in through the front. So uh, we're in through the front and under the V and going to finish up a double crochet just like we normally would. So I'm gonna show you another method. So you're going to do a double crochet in that second stitch again. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go in through the front and do a double crochet as well. So you're in through the front, grab that yarn, pull it back through over that first double crochet and finish it out. To do one more, we're going to go over to the second stitch, do our double crochet, and then we're going to come back to the stitch that we skipped. We're going to yarn over, go through, grab the yarn, pull it through, and then finish out our double crochet. So there you have it, two different ways to do a crisscross stitch. The first ones we did, your left yarn was over your right, and on the second one, your right yarn was over the left. As you can see, both turned out pretty well. So whatever you're comfortable doing and your preference, I think you'll get a great stitch either way. Thank you for joining me today as we learned this stitch. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Also, if you would like to learn more stitches with me, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button so that you will get notifications when a new video comes out. Thanks so much.